workbench in the middle of the room like it is here. I think it's a good move. I really do. Reading the comments last night, uh, Schnuss, one of the guys who came over on the December meetup, he suggested that I should do a few more mods to the table while it's upside down or while I've got it out. Perhaps installing the uh, the half inch router underneath so we can use the table saw fence to actually act as a fence for the router as well. That's probably a good idea. If I do put the table, the, uh, the router in there, I'm going to have to add another bar on that side. Or extend the bar which might take some welding, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, thinking outside the box. I might just do that actually. Well, two pieces of this threaded rod together, what do you reckon? And so that bar runs all the way to this side. Then if I have the router over here, because the table's going to be flipped. So the first thing I need to do this morning then, if I'm going to extend that table saw fence to the end of the table and put the router, which is there, into the table, is extend this threaded bar. So I've got two pieces here. I've sharpened them to a pencil-like point in the centre with the bench grinder over there. And I've clamped them to this bit of angle iron to make sure that they're parallel, straight, in line, whatever the word is. And then I'm going to fill this bevel here with weld. Now of course, when this is finished we won't have threads in that section, but I'm hoping to space the thread where the weld is just in front of here meaning that we're not going to require any thread in front of the table saw blade because why would you be putting the fence in front of the blade right so that's the plan so we're only going to lose a little bit there and then we'll move this fella along to the edge here and that should give us a full width fence for the table Well, I about think that that is as true as I'm going to get it. But a big clean up in here, as you can tell. We've got that table out. That's over here. I'm about to sneeze because I'm covered with dust. There's lots of dust in the air. So let's just take a look down this table saw fence and see exactly how close we are to being parallel. So if I press hard on the blade, you'll see that if we look down there, it looks pretty darn good. We've got a very similar gap all the way down. And uh, it doesn't seem to wander out at all. I mean, you have the effect of it looking wider from one end to the other, but when you come this end, the effect is reversed. It's like looking into the distance. 
So I feel like picking up a few of the projects that we started at the start of last year but never got around to finishing. I think a shop air cleaner is probably one of the things that I could do with getting installed. I'm covered in dust. Oh, I can just feel it, I can see it in the air. It's all the fine particles from sweeping up which I need to get shot off. I also want to install a section here for the router to come up through but uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to mount that yet. I'm thinking maybe a plexiglass insert that just drops in and then I don't lose any table space. And uh, I also have to put on a scale for this bad boy. So when we move her across here, we can read off exactly what, uh, what measurement we're at, at a glance, with reference to this blade here. So, quite a few jobs still to do. It's already half past two, which is quite unbelievable. More supports on the table as well. I don't know if you noticed when I spun it round. And we've got wheels on all but, all but one of the legs. Because they didn't have enough lockable wheels in tool station. They only had like three, which is three wheels. No good for anybody, is it? So I got those and I just thought, well, I can just lift this corner up, pull it out, and when I put it down, it's solid for now. But we will change them in the future to something a bit more adjustable, I think. can say is that was very testing. Uh, I got the table saw all set up and we start cutting as you can tell with the dust in the air and uh, I've also applied a what's it called uh, a tape uh, upholsterers tape what they're called you know what I mean something you'd measure your waist with uh, to the scale and it seems to be pretty accurate I've welded one nut on the end of the threaded bar and that allows me to, by rotating that nut up and down, it allows me to fine tune in between the threads so I hit my numbers bang on. Now I figured that out because, looking on the back of there, the cuts didn't work out as well. But now I've uh, rejigged it a little bit and I figured out exactly what I was doing wrong. You'll see on here, if you excuse me wobbling it a little bit that all the cuts line up that way 
and that's actually the sheet upside down. This is the correct way for the sheet to go and they all line up that way which means I figured it out. So we start 75mm from the top because I'm using metric. I've gone 75mm to the base of every single step all the way up and then whatever's left is left and that'll be the bottom of the drawers and we'll just put a little piece of filler along the bottom there. That means the top drawer I can close regardless of where it is. So these two, these two bad boys are gonna sort of sit back to back like this so I can hide that initial cock up in the center. This doesn't look too bad, but it's no good. And then what we'll do is glue these two together and that will form the center of that shelving unit down there. And then I'm about to do the same on the other side, which uh, is this bad boy. You can see I did try and do it all in one big sheet. It was just too cumbersome, so I'm gonna take a little bit more time and do it this way. And then hopefully I'll be able to install these into that shelf, into that cabinet, into that whatever table and then we'll concentrate on cutting the drawers. So uh, tomorrow I have casking to do for vacant gesture and bitter. So I might not get round to doing any of this. If you want to tune in to see me doing some cascarooning, then that's totally up to you folks. Uh, but other than that, wow, yeah, it's half past seven, a quarter to eight. I want to go home, have a swift beer, edit this vlog for your enjoyment us, and uh, Get a freaking shower. I'm absolutely filthy. We'll see you tomorrow. Stop later than I intended to, but we friggin' cracked it, boys. Check it. Now that is a freaking sight for sore eyes. So all these drawers in and out, they fit in every horror farce. Um, the gap in the middle is intentional what I've done is use the boards uh, which are 1220 so I can only get the maximum width of a drawer is 610 mil that's the maximum so what I've decided to do is put drawers either side and I've got stuff like odds and ends off cuts pieces rolls of lining paper stuff like that so I thought I'd make some little shelves in that center bit and I can just slide things in there that'll come in really handy so this time I really am going home Gemma's on her way it works needs a bit of fine tuning here and there but it works the drawers will work hopefully I'll be able to come in here and clean up tomorrow and then uh, work a little bit more on them I need Stuart to pick me some timber up anyway now I'm at this stage but looking at that I think we're gonna have copious amounts of storage I'm going to make quite a few three inch drawers for the top because they'll take a lot of the tools off of this back wall and each drawer is going to have like hammers, chisels, clamps etc. I think it's a good move. So I'm going to sign off folks and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for some casking provided that we're down to temperature.